So, so first of all, what was your off season like? I mean, everybody's kind of had a different story, but gearing up towards this moment, what was yours like? You know, mine was kind of the same as, as it always is. I was able to go home and be with the family and spend time with the girls and, and just kind of enjoy that and enjoy a little downtime. Um, and obviously just as far as baseball wise go for me, it was the same kind of routine I always do. Just kind of weights and baseball and do a little hunting and fishing and, and enjoy down there in Louisiana. So, um, I didn't really change too much, just kind of did the same thing. We just got a little bit longer extra time to do it. Yeah, I was just talking to Rowdy a little bit ago. His whole offseason said, I spent hunting as much as I could. Is that kind of how you get away from the game and, and time to yourself? Yeah, you know, for me, hunting and fishing is always two great things that I, I like to do and go spend time in the outdoors, um, obviously with the family and get to bring the girls as much as I can as well. Um, things like that, and then just being with friends and family back home, whether it's doing crawfish bowls and cooking out or just hanging out and, and kind of we try to be outside as much as we can. Um, but, yes, I, I feel like those things are definitely my, my escape from the game for sure. Um, we spend a lot of time up here and a lot of time working on our craft, so it's, it's fun to put some energy in some other things like that. And, and you know, you've, you've had the hurricanes go through there, and you've done a lot to raise money for that area. How is everything going now in the rebuild after after what's gone through your area? It, it's 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 going really well right now. Um, thank thank the Lord, we didn't have any issues this last off season. Um, we still had some a lot of rain and a lot of storms, but nothing like we had over the past couple of years. So I think it was everybody was able to kind of breathe a little bit, and, but at the same time, you're still kind of there's still work being done. Um, trash being picked up, houses being rebuilt, roofs being repaired. So there's still stuff that's going on there, but um, definitely came a long way from a couple years ago. And um, I know that everybody's hopefully, hopefully if we can get another break this year during hurricane season, it'll be really well. And we'll be able to kind of get ahead of the curve for sure. So now back to baseball, you're here. What was it like walking back in that first day? It was awesome, you know, seeing the guys and the energy that, that the guys have from day one here in spring. We got a lot of new faces, but a lot of the same guys as well. Um, but everybody's on the same page. Everybody's excited to get back to work, excited to work on their craft, and um, looking forward to getting to Milwaukee and playing some baseball. Yeah, I mean, it is it is funny. I mean, baseball is it's a new team every year, no matter how many, much of the core is still there. So how, how is it different this year with the, the group that has come in? I think each year kind of presents different challenges and different things, so it's definitely going to be different. Um, I, I wish I could tell you what those things are going to be. I feel like we'll kind of find those things out as we go. Um, but for most guys in here, you, you might not have played with everybody, but you've played against them. So there's a lot of familiarity with a lot of guys in here, and um, there's a lot of pros in here and a lot of guys with – Good attitudes, good work, that good work ethics, and good teammates, and um, I feel like that's kind of the base that you want to have. And from there, everybody can just be on the same page, pull on the same rope, work, get better every day, and um, be professional. That's kind of what we represent in this clubhouse, and I know that the guys that came in kind of see that from the get go, and they're right on board. So we got a good group, and we're looking forward to it. How do you know where you're supposed to be in spring training every day because of all the different positions and the way, especially the way we've watched you play, you're here one day, you're there one day. I mean, you don't have a set spot at all times. How does spring training work for you that way? You know, Counts kind of gives me free range to, he knows that I'm going to go do something different every day. So for me, I try to keep it fresh every day, whether first day I was at third, yesterday I was at first, I think today I'm going to do some outfield stuff. So. I just try to mix it up as much as I can each day and do something different. And if I need extra work, then I'll do a couple positions that day, whether it's early morning stuff or after practice stuff. So um, we continue to work, continue to try to get better, and the coaching staff's ready to, to do whatever we need as players. And um, they push us each day. So um, it's, it's, e it's easy to come get my work. And if you're not getting your work, it's just because you're being lazy. So um, it, it, it's fun, and I, I enjoy being doing something different every day. Yeah, do your days get a little longer because of that? Occasionally, but you know, I mean, that's kind of part of it, and, and and sometimes that's what it takes. It's nothing crazy. I mean, you can go do 15 minutes of early ground balls at third base, and then do your prep work at second base, and then the whole day you can do your outfield stuff and kind of be done. So you can knock it out if you if you're good with time management. But I think most guys that that play the utility position probably take similar approaches and try to do something different every day. Were there any concerns during the lockout about this game not coming back for a while? I think. Guys as a whole figured it would be delayed. There would be some type of, of difference, not not the normal spring that you used to see. But I never really felt like we we were in jeopardy of missing a season. That's me personally. Um, baseball is a, a sport that brings a lot of people together, and obviously it's a business and there's a lot of money involved. But um, I know the fans were really wanting to see baseball. I know the players really wanted to play baseball. And um, I'm just glad and fortunate that we were able to get it done. You mentioned the fans. How do you make sure they stay with you guys? 
You know, I, I feel like, one, we have to engage with them. So for, for me, when you get to see kids out here in spring and, and out in the game, it's always a blessing to be able to see those kids and go take pictures and sign autographs. That's something that I always enjoy. I know myself as a kid when I'd go to the Astros games and see those guys playing, it, I know how I felt. So for me, I try to always be there for the kids and, and let them enjoy it and know that, that we see them and we're just normal humans just like they are. And um, one day they can do the same things we can. You get an Andrew McCutcheon walking in here today. What is that like to have a former MVP, uh, perennial all-star, be part of the crew, the, the group now? You know, I, I think he, he brings a certain mentality. Um, he, his mindset from the day he walks in, I mean, he's a winner. He's a gamer. Um, he's somebody who plays hard, who you can model your game after. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting to know him. And obviously, I've played against him over the last few years. And, Obviously, he's a special player, and um, I'm looking forward to getting to know the guy, and I know he's going to have a tremendous impact on this club on and off the field. Last thing for you. DH um, probably put you in the field a lot more often than you, you maybe even thought of before. Good, bad, what, how do you feel about the DH, and how does it affect you? You know, as far as how it's going to affect me, I'm not sure. I think that's kind of to be determined. Um, I, I played in the American League where there obviously was a DH a few years, and you know, it didn't really affect me too, too much. I feel like, for the most part, you still get those matchups where you'll come off the bench and, and it might be a tough, tough righty for a righty and you come and hit for him. Um, but as far as that goes, I think it's kind of to be determined. So we'll see how that kind of shakes out. Appreciate your time. No problem. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, you too.